Welcome to Pickle Shrub Farms, an alpaca tree house, the luxury llama cottage, and across the fence, the llama stay farm cottage. We have three and a half acres right here inside the city of Atlanta. We have this garden path. Lots of flowers and banana tree. It's a little pawpaw tree. Ferns and hostas, vegetables. You see the animals in the barn. Walk down this rustic I'm Kara O'Brien. This is my herd of alpacas and llamas, and we're at the Atlanta Alpaca Tree House in Atlanta, Georgia. Biggie is my one of my rescue llamas. You hear her humming, and I taught her how to kiss for a treat. I'm going to show you how. Biggie, you want to give me a kiss? Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Good girl. She really just wants the carrot, but you hear her humming. That's her begging. But she's like, don't touch me, even though she got a carrot. But she's not getting out of range, if you notice. Um, they don't love to be touched and petted, but if you have a treat, they will tolerate it. We'll give another one. Give me a kiss. Oh, I got a lip in my mouth on that one. <laughs> Hi, my name's Walker O'Brien, and I also live here and give tours of the grounds. Um, this is Figgy. She's currently being a big pig because she sees the carrots in my hand. Um, we got Figgy at an animal auction a couple years ago, and when we did bring her back here, she wanted nothing to do with us. She would go very far away, um, and so slowly but surely, with a lot of practice, Figgy came around after being horribly abused at her past home, and now she is our friendliest and naughtiest animal. So this is our barn. It is made of all reclaimed materials. Uh, we love sustainability here. The thing is from a Grant Park Victorian and the stained glass is from the 1800s. Um, the whole farm is pretty much we try to recycle materials as much as we can and uh, help the environment. Hi, I'm Kate Jarreau and this is Dolly, our no drama mama llama. This is Paloma Piper. She's our oldest alpaca. She's 17 years old. And this little sweetie is Elfie Favon Pickle Sprite. She has a perfect little heart right over her heart. This is Caitlin Tasty. Caitlin Tasty is like Eeyore. She's shy. She has a half a milk mustache. And she has beautiful black fiber. This is Sunny Siobhan. Sunny Siobhan is 15 years old. She's very beautiful. She has gray skin, but her fiber is considered fawn. So we did that. We put in this fountain. Come a little closer, let me show you. We have a fish in here named Fred. If you can see Fred. I don't see Fred. We're looking, here's Fred. There's Fred, our fish. And then here we have honeybee. peeking over the fence because she wants to come into the bamboo forest and eat the bamboo. So I'm going to give you guys a little tour of our bamboo forest and our tree house. This is the bamboo. It has been here since the 1940s, which is pretty crazy. And it was really, really thick when we first got it. And now it's thinned out a little bit because Figgy and Dolly and the alpacas like to eat it. It's delicious. When the new shoots come up, you can actually take them and you can soak them and you can saute them in butter or you can use them in different Asian recipes. But the llamas and alpacas, they like them raw. Okay, so I'm gonna show you our tree house. This is our tree house. It's all built with reclaimed materials. It has um, antique stained glass, reclaimed doors and windows. 
Um, the bamboo we actually repurposed from, of course, right here in the bamboo forest. We did a bunch of TV shows like Love is Blind and Kevin Probably Saves the World and lots and lots of R&B videos and hip hop videos like Trey songs. It's been very exciting. This is our Bali bed. It's made from reclaimed material. Okay, I want to walk you upstairs so you can see the view from the top of the treehouse. The treehouse rises up out of the bamboo. Go up the staircase. There are bamboo spindles and the handrails are made from cedar. This is our beautiful treehouse porch. It's very private. All you see is bamboo. And a soapstone table. Our stained glass is from Ohio, dates to the late 1800s. And the ceiling is from the 1860s and it's old original beaded board. And the deck is wrap around. Look out at the bamboo forest. It rained last night, so everything's a little wet out here. So we approached the front door. This door came out of the mayor's house back in the turn of the century. Lots of beautiful, beautiful glass. This wall of glass came out of a house in Inman Park. Our ladder is made of cedar. We have a little desk area where you could eat. And this is a washstand where you can brush your teeth or wash your face. The floors are made of heart of pine from an old church from 1905 and have a lot of personality. The ceiling is beaded board and it's reclaimed boards from 100 to 120 years ago. The bathroom is a composting toilet. It's got green marble walls, beaded board, a little pull chain light. Okay, we're gonna walk up the stairs here, up the ladder, so you can see that there is a queen size bed, the skylight and a window there's another skylight. This is the gable, and you can see all the way out down onto the floor of the bamboo. different hives of honeybees and you can get a closer look at them. This is our organic lettuce garden. We have kale and lettuces. We rescue chickens here at the farm, and we also breed critically endangered chickens like this beautiful guy. He's a Russian Pavlovskaya. Thank you for coming and taking our virtual tour of our llama and alpaca farm and our treehouse. 
Come see us in real life sometime. We'd love that. Uh. Bye for now.